Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So when we looking at the price chart of GOEV stock, what one can clearly see is a big downside and what I'm talking about is the very very near term price action. So even if you are looking at the overall trend or the current trend, you cannot see any positivity. And this is the very very near term price chart and you can clearly see another breakdown that has happened below 0.21 and more specifically below 0.20. So that is something has happened as far as GOEV stock is concerned. Meanwhile, the stock has indeed made a fresh low of 0.18. Okay, but this is your last support or you can consider as your stop loss. So this is what one can see as far as the lower end of the range is concerned. Now, when we are looking at the current price chart of uh, Kanu INC or GOEV stock, what we can understand that uh, even if there is a bounce back, you cannot make sure that, that that particular bounce back will continue or not. So that's the kind of risk we have for GOEV. Meanwhile, the range is getting narrower. So at the same time, it does indicate some kind of potential bounce back. Uh, which is on the cards as well but uh, understand one thing these kind of moves are quite risky and even if it moves higher we have our resistance in between 0 0.2 and 0 0.21 and only after 0 0.21 or more we can see any further upside okay so please uh, make sure or at least have a clarity about the trend and how the price is moving so here you should react rather than proact so let the stock move and then you will decide because uh, these kind of stocks no doubt can move uh, you know in a very volatile manner on both the side and that's the problem if it happens on the upside you will be better off if, but if it happens on the downside then the actual problem lies so please don't do something which you do not understand for the time being it is giving an indication uh, of a bounce back but at the same time you can clearly see the breakdown that has happened below 0 0.20 so there is a dichotomy or dilemma which is available as far as the current price chart of GOEV so if you are very much interested in this stock then better wait for the stock to perform rather than jumping on to it because if things goes wrong then you will end up making losses so this is the end of the video thanks for watching